Thank Hello. You. I come bearing empty calories. <laughs> mm. Postpone the wedding. Concentrate on our careers. Yeah, the thing is that I get to marry you. I think we should get married. Nick. With this ring. We appreciate it. Molly and Nick find their home in each other after unsuccessful relationships. But will their financial struggles and the towering presence of an ex come in the way of them making a lifelong commitment? Molly White is getting ready for her wedding when her sister Lisa assures her that everything will be great, and she will have the perfect wedding, because she and Stephen are perfect together. Molly's dad is teary about how beautiful she looks and asks her if she is ready. She happily walks with him down the aisle and makes a beautiful entrance, only to find out no groom is waiting for her. She asks where Stephen is and no one has any answer. In the present day, Molly, who was earlier a marriage counselor, gets ready for a new day as a fitness instructor. Daniel Counter, Molly's boss, gives some newcomers a tour of the gym and tells them about their most popular class, Molly's Bridal Boot Camp. Molly is training women and inspiring them to get fit for their weddings. After they are done with the set, they all applaud. Outside, Molly meets her boyfriend Nick, who gets her donuts. He admits that her sister Lisa may have mentioned how since it is the day she got left at the altar, they celebrate it as donut day. She thanks Nick but tells him she is not sad anymore. She says her career is good and she has Nick, who makes her feel special and laugh every day. Nick reminds her she needs to help him with a photo shoot that night and leaves. Nick, who was earlier a wedding photographer, is preparing for his first art gallery show. He meets Elizabeth, who shows him the space where his photos will be displayed. Nick is thrilled and mesmerized by the grandeur of the place. Elizabeth reminds Nick how he deserves his art gallery because his work speaks for itself. Molly tells Lisa how Nick got her donuts on Donut Day and thanks her for letting him do it instead of her. Lisa is happy to do it for their relationship. Lisa then asks jokingly if she can teach one of Molly's classes for married couples since her marriage with Rennie has been going great. Lisa then offers to do marketing for Molly since her only marketing now is a banner. Molly tells her she will hire her when she opens her gym, but is taking things slow. Nick asks Molly to pose for his pictures for the photo shoot and she notices the spot of Brendan and Elizabeth's wedding reception, where they met and danced for the first time. Nick pretends he forgot this was their spot, and Molly tells him she will forgive him only because he is occupied with his art gallery. Nick then tells her to look behind her and Molly is mesmerized by the beautiful lights. When she turns around, Nick walks towards her and bends down on one knee. Both Molly and Nick cannot stop smiling and Nick tells her that even if he jokes a lot, he wants to make sure all her days are happy. He then asks her to marry him and Molly instantly agrees. Brendan, who is a lawyer, and his wife Elizabeth discuss the proposal with Nick and Molly during their engagement party. Elizabeth asks Molly if they can sign up for her marriage classes. They then discuss how no marriage is perfect and Brendan brings up Nick's ex-fiancee Jenna. Elizabeth scolds him but Nick and Molly assure them there is no problem since they have discussed with each other how they need to embrace the imperfections of their past for a healthy, and happy marriage. Molly spots Daniel and tells Nick she will try and talk to him about leaving the gym for something of her own. Daniel greets her and she asks him to come outside. Daniel already guesses she wants to talk about opening her fitness center and tells her how everyone gossips while exercising. She apologizes but he tells her not to worry since she deserves it. He also tells her he is considering retiring and going back to Hawaii. Since someone needs to buy counterfeit, the gym, he tells her it would be great if she buys it. Molly loves the idea and gets excited. Nick and Elizabeth are talking about the gallery and Brendan tells them to relax and takes Elizabeth for tasting the cake. Georgia Parsons then comes to meet Nick and tells him she just took one of Molly's bridal boot camps. Nick graciously welcomes her and Georgia tells him how she is friends with people whose wedding photography Nick handled and calls him the best one in Portland. She tells him she wants to hire him for her wedding, but he respectfully disagrees and informs her about his gallery opening soon and how he has left wedding photography. She tells him how she is marrying Bill Clayton, a very successful man, and how she feels that there is always a way to figure things out at the right price. At the house, Molly tells Nick how she cannot afford to buy counterfeit and Nick offers to help out. She tells him he needs to focus on his art gallery and how they don't have enough money. He tells her they are getting married, so his business is her business. Molly is excited about their marriage. She also tells Nick how getting investors is an option but they have a lot of opinions and she wants to do this on her own. They then discuss their wedding and decide how they can take things slowly and not stress out. Nick tells her he already made calls for the venue where they met and that there are only two dates that year. While one is in seven weeks, the other is in eight months. Molly likes the second option and they both agree. Molly goes to file a loan application for buying the gym and she is told that her paperwork is in order and just has to wait. Molly takes more lessons and this time Lisa and Rennie also join in. Rennie calls her the smartest sister-in-law. When Lisa tries to protest that, Molly jokes about not asking her to be her maid of honor, and they hug. Molly and Nick come to visit his gallery and Molly tells him how she finally has a meeting the next day about the loan. 
Nick tells her everything will work out. She then notices the gallery and is amazed, and Nick explains his plans for the pieces on display there. Molly teases him about overthinking and tells him to not worry because there is enough time and all his pictures are amazing. Molly is told there is good and bad news regarding the loan. While her loan has been rejected, one firm has agreed to invest in her project and help her buy the gym. When Molly hesitates, she is told that the investor will be a silent partner with no strings attached so she can work on the gym herself. She cannot believe it and asks to meet the investor, who is already there waiting for her. When she turns around, the investor is none other than Stephen, the guy who left her at the altar. She walks out and tells Stephen she doesn't like surprises. Stephen asks for a chance to explain things to her. Stephen apologizes to her and tells her he did not think he was good enough for her and that he would only disappoint her if they got married. He tells her it was the worst thing he has done and is very ashamed but it affected him too and he realized that he needed to change. He tells her because of that he quit his job and started his investment firm, and now they have become the biggest. He tells her his offer is the best for her and he thinks it is a good investment. Molly is late for her class and looks rattled but starts with her routine. Lisa notices something is wrong and asks her about it. Molly tells her about meeting Stephen and how with the bank turning her down, he is her only option. Nick thinks it is crazy how Stephen showed up out of nowhere and asks Molly if she is okay. She tells him she is trying other banks but the loan officer told her Stephen is her best option. Nick reminds her that because he left her at the altar, Molly cannot trust him, and it's not wise to get into business with someone you don't trust. Molly tells him he is right but also suggests how maybe she can sit down with him and discuss if something can be worked out. Nick hesitates but tells her he trusts her and will support her. Brendan asks Nick why he dragged him so far to get a photo when he has more than enough. Nick tells him he is stressed and it will bother him if Molly and Stephen go into business together. He also tells Brandon that if it does happen, he will respect Molly's decision. Brendan then tells Nick how Molly has just hired him five minutes ago as a lawyer to look over the contracts with Stephen, and how Nick can relax because he will take care of it. Stephen tells Molly she has a good business plan but he can help her make it better. He tells her not to worry since he just invests the money and then remains a silent partner. He tells Molly how he can figure out the whole process in six weeks. Molly tells Stephen that no personal feelings can come if they work together. She also tells him about her engagement with Nick. Stephen congratulates her and tells her his interest in this is strictly professional. Nick and Molly are checking out roses for their wedding when she asks if he is okay with her working with Stephen. He tells her they can figure it out and they get a call from Janet for the wedding venue. Nick looks disturbed on the call and tells her how the date they selected eight months from now is gone and how they need to choose the one in seven weeks, or there will be no other date for one and a half years. Molly tells him how she does not want to wait that long to marry him but planning a wedding in six weeks on the same weekend, as his art gallery and Stephen's signing of the investment will be impossible. They then discuss how the venue is their spot and how they know everything will not be perfect anyway. They just decide to do it and plan a wedding with everything else in six weeks. While Molly continues taking classes, Nick and Molly meet Lisa, Rennie, Elizabeth, and Brandon and tell them about how they need to plan the wedding in six weeks and need their full support. Lisa and Molly go wedding dress shopping and are not able to find something good. Lisa asks Molly how she is so calm and she tells her they have decided to not get worked up and let go of things that are not under their control. Lisa suggests how they don't have to get married in a rush, but Molly assures her that the venue is their spot and they want this. Nick fixes a time for a cake tasting with the men and they inform him about getting the rings. Nick points out how all this is stressing him out and lists out all the places they have to go that day for the gallery and wedding arrangements. They ask if Nick is sure he is not rushing into things, and he tells them he is backing Molly on this for the wedding they want. Nick and Lisa struggle to dance and Lisa asks him why he had to take salsa lessons. He tells her he had no idea and thought he was choosing a waltz. He then tells Lisa how he needs these lessons to make the first dance with Molly perfect. Lisa asks him about the gallery opening and he tells her is excited but also very nervous now with everything related to the wedding. Molly is wrapping up her class when Stephen comes in. As there is a forgiveness banner from her class still standing there, Stephen tries to make a joke about it being too in the face. When she asks what he wants, he reminds her she has to give him a tour of the gym. She apologizes for forgetting and tells him how a lot is going on. She shows him the equipment and Stephen seems surprised by her suddenly getting married in six weeks. He comments on how fast that seems and she tells him to keep things professional. Molly informs him that she knows what she is doing, and how she has a strong relationship with Nick. Right then, Nick comes to pick her up and she introduces him to Stephen. They both politely greet each other. When there is some silence, Nick jokes about how awkward it is and they agree to leave. Nick and Molly are waiting for their wedding planner when Nick informs her how his dad found a typo in the wedding invitations. They both don't want to panic so they agree to let it be. Nick then asks Molly if she thinks they are just settling for things just because they don't have time for a great wedding. She assures him that any wedding that makes her spend her life with him is good. Nick still tells her he wants her to have everything she wants and she assures him everything is under control. Brendan and Stephen discuss how Molly fits into the corporate structure and Stephen asks about the marketing plan. 
Brendan excuses himself as the legal part is over and leaves them to discuss the rest. Stephen tells Molly how Brendan seems nice and he wants to hire him. Stephen reminds her how he once did not want to buy a beach house because he was scared of the contract. Molly laughs and they both discuss how they have come a long way since then. Molly then tells Stephen how Lisa has some better ideas about marketing so they can discuss it with her. Molly and Nick are tasting cakes and while they like different flavors, they decide to compromise and settle for one layer of each flavor. They are happy they decided on one thing and Molly tells him they need to finalize the seating plan that night. Nick tells her how important it is for them to take just one night off for themselves away from the madness. They enjoy a peaceful time on a beach and Molly tells him this was a great idea. Nick tells her he knows the spot because his brother James used to DJ parties there. Nick tells her how he has already planned a playlist for the wedding. Molly tells Nick how they both decided on a band for their wedding but Nick insists that James will be heartbroken if he doesn't get to play now. At the gallery, Molly is constantly checking something while Nick asks for the placement of his pictures. She tells him they need to decide on a wedding photographer. Nick, being a former wedding photographer, finds faults with all the options she has. She tells him they should not overthink and he insists they can't even go for a bad photographer, since photos are about memories. Molly agrees and Nick also acknowledges how they will not get anyone great in four weeks, so he chooses one and Molly is happy. Molly is shopping for wedding gowns with Lisa and they joke about wanting to wear such gowns in their regular lives. Molly comes out in her dress and both she and Lisa are not too happy with it. Lisa insists that she needs to find a dress she loves and nothing random. She tells Lisa how she does not want to be bridezilla and have everything perfect for her wedding. Lisa still insists they can come back for a better dress later. At the gallery, Nick is going over his pictures with Brendan. Nick asks about Molly's contracts and Brendan tells him everything looks good and that Stephen knows what he is doing. Nick tells Brendan how he and Molly are just trying to hold it together and figure out everything all at once. Daniel asks Molly why Stephen is there and she tells him he just needs to observe the boot camp classes. Molly begins her class and tells them how she will demonstrate partner yoga with Daniel. Daniel then gets a call and leaves. As everyone else has partners, Stephen offers to help Molly demonstrate. She then shows them the pose with Stephen when Nick also walks in from behind. While she is talking about balance, she loses hers and Stephen picks her up as they laugh. She notices Nick there with a little awkwardness and he just walks away from the class. Nick is discussing the gallery opening with Elizabeth and she tells him about the guest list. Georgia then comes in and Nick goes to talk to her privately. She compliments his work as Elizabeth listens to their conversation and pretends to work. Georgia says she is eager to have him as her wedding photographer. She tells him she is making one last offer because she does not want to settle for less. She then tells him to think about his future long term and hands him a card with the offer of $20,000 which makes both him and Elizabeth freak out. Molly and Nick are discussing plans for their wedding and are sorting through many files. There is a lot of confusion as all their work plans are also somehow mixed with the binders of their wedding plans. Molly and Nick have a lot on their plates and keep juggling between work and wedding. Brendan and Stephen discuss Stephen's stake in the ownership of the gym and Molly is distracted in the meeting as she keeps looking for wedding gowns. Elizabeth also discusses their plans for the gallery while Nick keeps searching for tuxedos. Molly and Nick also keep texting each other about their outfits while they are working. Molly expresses her frustration to Lisa about visiting too many bridal stores, but not finding a single dress. Nick is also not able to find the tuxedo and everything seems very hard for him. Molly also tells Lisa how planning everything is too much and the other arrangements are okay, but she just wants to find a dress and be done with it. Molly tells her how she cannot postpone the wedding now and how the dress she got for her wedding with Stephen was the perfect dress of her dreams. Molly meets Nick outside the house and they decide to talk. They both agree planning a wedding in such a short time seems too rushed. They discuss how they love each other but they also need to be happy in their wedding. They consider pushing the date but decide against it. Nick assures her that they have most of the things sorted and have each other. They also discuss how their families are coming on the weekend and they just need to power through the next two weeks. They then promise each other that if at any point they feel things are getting out of control, they will postpone the wedding. Molly continues taking more classes and Nick and Molly meet their families for dinner. When it gets too much, Nick offers to run away from there with Molly. Molly's mom scolds her for not getting a dress yet and Lisa tells her how Molly just needed to find something she loves. In all the chaos, Molly then spots something interesting and goes to check out the dress. Molly sees the design and she knows that it is the dress of her dreams. When she asks about it, she is told that the dress is still in the works and will take some weeks to get ready. Molly explains how she is getting married that weekend but the store manager tells her she can make some alterations to her current dress to make it look like the other one. She tells Molly to take it home and check what kind of changes she would like. Molly is trying on the dress at home when the doorbell rings. Stephen comes to drop off the contract, which Molly forgot about, and she tells him to come in while she is wearing the dress. Stephen feels a little awkward and tells her how he never actually got to see her in the wedding dress. She tells Stephen she has forgiven him and got into business with him because she has put everything behind them. Stephen then tells her he will see her at Nick's gallery opening, 
to which Nick invited him. Before Nick's gallery opens, Molly takes him out for a bit to relax. They discuss how everything is happening so fast and decide to take a moment to themselves. They discuss their future filled with love and growing old together. Nick thanks people for coming to the opening and comes and whispers to Molly, Elizabeth, and Brendan how no one is buying anything. Brendan tells him to relax and Molly also insists that it is the first art show for him and Elizabeth, and they need to enjoy it. Nick then spots Georgia and goes to talk to her. Stephen comes up to Molly and starts apologizing for the other day. He tells her he is still looking for forgiveness. Molly tells him how they both were going to disappoint each other if they got married. Stephen agrees nothing is perfect but she should at least hope for something close to it. When Molly tells him she has found her perfect, he asks her why everything is so hassled and disorganized. Molly gets frustrated and tries to explain the situation to him. When Stephen still asks what the hurry is, she angrily asks if Stephen wants her to say that Nick will change his mind the way he did. Nick then comes over and asks to borrow Molly. Outside, Molly tells Nick what he heard inside sounded worse than what she meant. Nick tries to reassure her that he will not walk out on her as Stephen did. They then remember how they promised each other that they would wait if things got too much. They decide to postpone the wedding so they can focus on their career and figure it out when they both are better prepared. Lisa asks Molly if they are postponing the wedding two days before it, and Molly tells her they will still get married, but a little later. Lisa still tells her she does not want Molly to cancel her wedding just because she does not think she deserves it. Brendan asks Nick about his plans and Nick tells him that he will not quit and keep doing photography. Nick also tells him how he and Molly are fine but they just want to hold off a little longer so they don't go crazy. Nick tells him how Molly is taking her wedding dress back and if they cannot get the deposit back on the venue, he will have to do wedding photography for Georgia to make up for it. Elizabeth then comes out and tells Nick he does not need the wedding gig anymore. When Nick asks if she cannot see the unsold photos in the gallery, Elizabeth tells him he does not have any unsold photos. When he is confused, she explains how Georgia talked about him a lot to her fiancé, who looked Nick up and wants to take all his photos for his hotel lobbies and commission some more. Nick is too excited and overwhelmed. After her class, Molly walks up to Stephen and Daniel who tell her everything is sorted and that she just needs to sign the papers. Molly hesitates and tells them she is having second thoughts about the way she is buying the gym. When Stephen asks if she doubts him, she assures him that his investment seemed perfect earlier, but now she has realized she just needs to do all this on her terms. She apologizes to Daniel who tells her he was having second thoughts too. Daniel tells her he does not want to retire full-time but just cut back and spend some time in Hawaii. They then discuss how with Molly as his partner, they can start small and build up till Molly is ready to take over the gym on her own. Daniel goes to call his lawyer with the plan and Molly apologizes to Stephen. He tells her he is proud of her and that partnering with Daniel is a good idea. Nick tells Molly about his deal and she asks why he is not too excited about it. He tells her that regardless of what is going on with their career, he wants to get married to her. They then discuss how instead of trying to solve things, they just ended up making them much more complicated. He tells her how they still have the venue for tomorrow and they can just get married. Molly agrees that she wants to marry him too and decides to go get her wedding dress back. When Molly asks for the dress she returned, the store manager tells her it just sold out. But she tells her how the dressmakers have finished making the dress and the sketch Molly loved. Molly tells her how that is her dream dress and she is excited. Right before the ceremony, Molly's dad tells her she looks beautiful and gives her a letter from Nick, which says he cannot wait to spend his life with her. He then escorts her to the aisle, where Nick is waiting with a smile for her. The reverend starts the ceremony and Molly and Nick finally exchange vows. After the ceremony, Nick asks the DJ to play their song and he tells her he has a surprise. Nick explains how he took dancing lessons and Molly is thrilled to be with him. They discuss how everything they have been through is worth it since it got them to this moment of their wedding. 